All right, so pretty much here, I'm gonna show you. Um, all right, so pretty much here, I'm gonna show you a black hand rush. Just simple. I was just doing this, test it out. Some people. Um, it should get you to beat most people. I mean, it's, it's pretty basic. Not gonna lie. It took me like a few minutes to uh, practice on a bot, and then I just got in and schooled a few people with it. So if you need some quick rushes to win some points, here we go. Alright, I'm over here on the right hand side. And my enemy's over in the left hand side. Playing on Marked of Kane. So we check out here. First, you know, it's power plant. Then you're going to want to get up your uh, barracks, hand a nod. Do it from my view so you can see uh, exactly what I'm building and queuing at the same time. I built a few Professor Cabals and just spammed these rocket men. That's why your timings get up. That's what I did. Second hand a nod. Just want to spam up some uh, missiles, missile squads. And then go ahead and make your secret shine while it's going up. And with uh, with your units over here, Confessor Cabals, you can just go ahead and uh, send them, you know, one mid, one top, whatever you want to do to scout. And the rest will just be uh, some making some missile squads. And then with the Secret Shine, you're going to get the Black Disciples upgrade. Giving you uh, a Confessor, or uh, a Militant, you know, Shoot Flame. That'll help you out a lot. Now when that gets done, what I did was I sold my uh, MCV. Or whatever it's called for the Black Hand. And I uh, send the engineer down there to cap that to give me the extra money. And then when you do that, the power goes down. So what you do with your barracks is uh, just power it powers down. Get that upgrade. As soon as that upgrade's done, you're gonna want to power this back up and go ahead and sell that secret shine. You're gonna sell the power plant and a uh, hand a nod. So now the scouts are going out just to make sure they don't try to do something sneaky on me and they don't see what I'm doing. Because if they see what you're doing, they can counter it easily and not easily but if they can counter it you're <laughs> you lost so yeah I just wait a bit while this gets up your upgrade's gonna finish get all those flames go ahead and sell that open this back up so you can get uh, two uh, rocket squads pumping again and then by then, uh, what, they'll be out. So just stop the queues in one, and then sell that building, whatever one you queue it on. And on the other one, I can queue up, uh, I queue up some Confessor Cabals, just in case they sneak something around. At least I got some defense. And then just send that force in. Sorry about the lag there. Recording and uh, fraps hurts my computer. Not the best, as you can see in the detail, but, you know, gets me the games I want to play. So now you just watch a huge force, just head on in there. It's probably about, I don't know, I'd say almost 20 rockets and maybe about 7 or so Confessor Cumballs. All with their each uh, little flame guy, I forget what they're called right now. So my scout's in there early, and, you know, he obviously didn't see it. So let's use that as a distraction for now. Maybe take out a couple missile men, whatever. That's what I decided to do there. It's for funsies. And a little as you know, this huge force is coming up right there. If you look back at your base, you really have nothing. This is about it. You have that cap, so you can keep producing a few... Professor Cabal's every now and then, just in case. Even though there's pretty much no point, because I doubt it'll ever happen. But if it does, it's good to have it. <laughs> As you can tell, my opponent's pretty bad, because he didn't even cap his spike or anything, so. It's pretty much a no brainer game right here. About time my force gets there. This was like a three minute game, you'll see later. It's three minutes, but, um,. Seems to be taking forever. 
and you just you can either you know make it shoot stuff that you're cute or just send them into attack and go to sleep and wake up in a few minutes and everything will be done whatever you want to do get a big glass of water go take a piss that's pretty much it you can see how fast they just demolish that hand and nod and I think I moved on to the construction yard because uh, I knew he didn't have much and I didn't want to go for his harvesters. There's really no point. I mean, if they're good, you might want to just go in there and take out their harvesters with these units so they can't keep producing. That's if they decide to produce, like, uh, some anti-infantry turrets. If they want, if they put that up, you might want to take those out. But if they're not, you know, just get that construction yard, power plants, or war factory, whatever you want to do. Should go out pretty quick. And usually at this point, they just realize it's over. They should sell out. But uh, my guy kept fighting. He thought there was some hope left. Take out that war factory pretty quick. Barrage of missiles right there. It's about to take that thing out. Gone before they even get there. Yeah, those uh, Black Disciples upgrades really helpful. Especially in a rush like this. Just take out those guys. And they're pretty... uh heavily armored they don't get taken out too easily so I took out his two power plants and see so I have like no money so it's like this is pretty much <laughs> your intro 10k right there and you should win it's pretty much how it's done right there and then I'll show you the time it actually took because this video is probably like six minutes or something and in reality it's like nothing did this real quick I was bored Right, we'll see the stats we have here. See at three minutes. See, he had way better resources, but you know, my units is in the 90s right there. It's pretty crazy. And yeah, thanks for watching.